Tim Slater and welcome to our demonstration of the vintage V6 Thomas Blug signature. I'm sure Thomas Blug needs no introduction but I'll uh, give him an introduction anyway because he deserves it. Um, Thomas is the renowned guitarist and amplifier designer who uh, a few years ago came up with a collaboration with Vintage to develop his own signature guitar. And this is the guitar we'll be talking about in this video. Um, the Blug signature is based on the Vintage V6, but it has a couple of special appointments that Thomas himself specified, and we'll go over those uh, as we go through the demo. The neck is a hard rock maple neck, which features a really comfortable satin finish, really helps to enhance the guitar's overall playability. The fingerboard is a rosewood fingerboard that features a 7.25 inch radius, which is in line with the original 1961 guitar that Thomas plays alongside his own signature V6 model. This model also features 21 frets, and the frets themselves are medium. So you get a nice kind of compromise between a vintage feel with a nice extra bit of playability um, courtesy of the frets. The body on the Blug signature features all the traditional body contouring that we would expect from this classic double cutaway design. And I particularly, I'm really, really impressed with the aging effect on this model. It's really fantastic, even down to the little subtle changes in color across the body um, and all of the, the markings and scrapes and scratches are exactly period correct as we would expect from a guitar that's been loved and played for many, many years. The Blug signature features a set of Wilkinson Alnico 5 pickups. These are single coil pickups that featured chamfered pole pieces and Alnico 5 magnets. All very important elements if you really want to authentically duplicate that authentic throaty vintage single coil tone. Underneath the pit guard, there is aluminium shielding to help reduce hum and interference. And also to in help to uh, protect against those elements, the blue signature also includes the bucker switch. The bucker switch is on the bridge tone control, and what that does, that activates a dummy coil underneath the pit guard to reduce hum. On the purpose of this demo, I'll see if we can generate some hum to demonstrate that, so I'll put some gain on. I don't know if this will actually come across, but here we have the bugger switch disengaged on the bridge pickup. <laughs> We want to engage the bucker switch, it's just a push push pop, so we click it out. Now we've brought in a dummy coil. There's definitely no hum there, it's really lovely and quiet. Bucker switch disengaged. There is a slight variation in tone, I think, with the bucker switch engaged the guitar maybe sounds a little, little smoother. So if you're using high gain sounds, that will definitely help to kind of give you a little bit more of a, a mid-range punch. The Wilkinson WVC vibrato bridge resembles a classic bridge from the golden era, but this one has been enhanced with a couple of extra features to bring it in line with modern playability. We have bent steel saddles, which are a very traditional feature, and these help contribute to the breathy, zingy tone that we would expect from this style of guitar. Let's just give a little run through of some chords. Yeah, really lovely, you know, it's kind of got that nice zingy quality that we would expect. However, to help bring this guitar in line with the needs of the modern player, the arm is a push-in arm that, whose playability can be adjusted with a small grub screw here, so you can set the height of the arm and also the stiffness of the arm. The tremolo block features staggered drilled holes, and this particularly helps with the G-string because what it does, it places the G-string at a correct break angle across the bridge saddle. Therefore, when the vibrato arm is deployed, it helps to guarantee a return to accurate pitch. So this feature, tied in, with the easy lock tuners and the graphite nut gives you a whole package which really enhances the overall performance and playability of the guitar. So let, let's go over some sounds. I'll start with the bridge pickup. The bucker switch is disengaged, just for temporary for the time being. And then we're gonna go through some clean sounds and some overdriven sounds and work through the pickup. So here is the neck pickup, clean.
bit of drive on here. Okay, position four. Put a bit of dirt on there. Middle position. Position two. Let's try a little bit of dirt on that. Position one. Put a bit of dirt on here. demonstrations were done with the bucker switch disengaged so what I'll do I'll quickly go through the sounds with the, just with the overdrive on with the bucker switch in and out so we can compare them so this time let's start with the bridge pickup I'll just zap through some chords here bucker switch on off position two bucker switch off Okay, middle position, bucket switch off. Bucket switch on. Position four, switch off. position switch off bucket switch on well again I have to say I'm really amazed at the ingenuity and skill of vintage and of course Thomas Bluke um, this is a fantastic collaboration, I think, between both parties. This guitar just feels amazing. Um, it sounds really brilliant. You know, the, the bucker switch I could see being a real boon in the studio, um, or particularly if you're working 
um, on stage where you've got really noisy lighting, you know, which can sort of generate a lot of problems with single coil pickups. Um, the feel, the fit, the finish, you know, the appearance, everything just looks and feels great. Um, you certainly don't feel that this guitar is lacking in any department. Tone-wise, it's splendid. The pickups are sparkly and dynamic. Um, the neck feels really great. It's lovely and comfortable. Um, the overall fit and finish and performance is brilliant. Tuning stability is fantastic. All of the Wilkinson hardware is really, really brilliant stuff. It works so, so well. It's a lovely um, balance between the kind of vintage, pardon the pun, feel and authenticity with those little modern touches that just enhance the performance and bring it in line with what modern players expect from a guitar these days. So the Vintage V6 Thomas Blick Signature, in my opinion, is a really, really amazing guitar and I'd recommend that you pop along to your vintage dealer or check Vintage out online and try one out for yourself. I'm Tim Slater. It's been my pleasure to demonstrate the V6 Thomas Blick to you today. Thank you. Well, Thomas Blug and Vintage have also collaborated with the German artist Daniel Hahn to produce the Thomas Blug signature Summer of Love. Um, if you're a Hendrix aficionado, there are no prizes for guessing where the uh, inspiration for this guitar comes from. Um, to all intents and purposes, it's electronically and physically exactly the same as the original Thomas Blug signature. The most notable differences being, of course, the wonderful Daniel Hahn graphics and the reverse headstock. Um, in my opinion, the reverse headstock does contribute a little bit to the tone. I've discussed this with Trevor Wilkinson, and in my opinion, I think the longer string length on the bottom E string tends to give the guitar a slightly different resonance. It gives it a bit more kind of a throaty low end. Um, so if you're really seeking that authentic Hendrix tone, it's subtle things like this that I, I believe can make a big difference. Um, again, this guitar feels wonderful. Has a great range of sounds. It just looks awesome as well. So if you really want something to make you stand out on stage, I'd recommend check out the Thomas Blug Vintage V6.